Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, we celebrate the Feast of St. Lawrence, deacon and martyr of the Church of Rome. We also offer this Mass in thanksgiving to God for the life and ministry of our former Archbishop, Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales, as he celebrates his birthday today. We pray for him and we pray for his health for a good health, that God may always bless him. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. 
have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world 
will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today teaches us one important lesson in life that you only get out what you put in. St. Paul in our first reading says, whoever so sparingly will also reap sparingly. But whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So you get out what you put in. If you put in little effort, expect only little success. But if you put in great effort, then expect great success. Kung konti lang ang ibinigay mo, konti lang ang ininvest mo, konti lang ang itinaya mo, konti rin lang ang makukuha mo. Pero kapag marami ang ibinigay mo, marami din ang makukuha mo. You only get out what you put in. But Jesus, in our gospel today, teaches us something more. Jesus did not only say, you only get out what you put in. Jesus also tells us that if you want to get more than what you put in, if you want to reap, more than what you sowed, then see to it that you put in what you put in, what you sowed is intended for others. Because God will make us bear more abundantly if what we sowed is for others. Kung tayo'y nagtatanim para sa iba, kung tayo'y nagpupunyagi, nagsusumikap para sa iba, dadagdagan ng Diyos ang ating magiging bunga. Kung ang ating mga ginagawa ay para sa iba, kahit na konti lamang ang ating makakaya, pagbubungahin itong higit ng Diyos. And this is what we see in the life and even in the death of St. Lawrence, whose feast we celebrate today. St. Lawrence is a deacon of the Church of Rome in the 3rd century. And St. Lawrence is recognized as one of the important martyrs of the Roman Church after St. Peter and St. Paul. As a deacon, Lawrence was in charge of the treasury of the Church of Rome. He was an, a special assistant of the Pope, Pope Sixtus II, whose memorial we celebrated just a few days ago. And as treasurer of the Church of Rome, he was also in charge of giving alms to the poor. And St. Lawrence was very generous in giving alms to the poor because he considered the poor as the true treasures of the Church. When he was asked by the Prefect of Rome to bring to him all the treasures of the Church, he did not bring gold or silver or money. 
he brought the poor people and said to the prefect of Rome, These are our riches. Ang kayamanan ng simbahan ay ang mga dukha. Lawrence was sentenced to martyrdom. He was condemned to a cruel and slow death. He was roasted alive on an iron grill. In the life of St. Lawrence, we could see someone who had sold much, someone who was put in much, not only for himself, but for others. And because of this, he bore much fruit, so much that he is now glorified with God in heaven. He gave his life for others and for the church. And what did he reap? Eternal life. So much more than what he put in. My dear brothers and sisters, you only get out what you put in. But if you want to get more than what you put in, then do not just think of yourself. Put in for others, and God will make you reap abundantly. As we celebrate the feast day of a great saint of the Church of Rome, mother of all churches, let us beseech our loving Father to grant the requests we make together in prayer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the deacons of the Church may be zealous in their ministry of preaching, the gospel by word and example. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be enough Catholic volunteers to work for poor communities or nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may value and protect our poor as real treasures of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may have fortitude in times of physical pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that our departed loved ones may enter into the promise of the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray for the people who requested our prayers. In a special way, we pray for our beloved Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales. We also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God, through the intercession of St. Lawrence, your martyr, receive the intentions we bring in the name of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Lawrence, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Lawrence, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only, but only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that through that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the feast of Saint Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sai na kita.